What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Dark Nath mod Let's Play as the United States. So the Randolph happened last time, we finally finished off the Prussians on their islands and we're continuing our island hopping crusade by attacking the Knights Hospitalier. They've not really got much of a garrison, um, but it should just be nice to have a fairly normal siege assault. So let's crack on. This army is going back of... What's he breaks the back? clears out the last of my um, regions in the Europe patrol behind my front line, which is what I want, because I don't want to hold back um, any more forces than is necessary. So this is quite useful, and I have to figure out how to... Sending a lot of them down the Baghdad road. Down the Baghdad, Baghdad road to be shipped by Navy to some of the Indian territories, potentially. So these guys fire quick line, depending on the range. They're all back here. Are they all the same range? They are, it's just the firepower. I even made the little the little howitzer balls next to them just shrink, just expand up. Cool. Yeah, you just do quick line on the actually you do round shot, you might hit some targets behind the walls. Keep my cavalry and my artillery. Now let's get my my assault divisions ready. Can they all hide in these trees? They can. Perfect. And then these chaps. So two of them will go left side of this bastion. Two of them will go right side of this bastion. My general goes here. Just get my artillery working on breaching the walls. Everyone else is open season. Pretty devastating shots from all of my artillery. targeting they're facing my assault divisions but they're in hiding well if they're not in hiding then they're gonna run I could get one of them to do some counter battery but to be honest it's probably not gonna be super effective one of my howitzers to start to bombard their actual positions because it's quite a depleted infantry unit So these guys are going to get absolutely pummeled. Oh no, their infantry seems to be... Okay, that's some collateral damage there. So let's change fire. 
name with both of them. This is a lot of men up on the walls. guys to do round shot and start planking the jungle's bodyguard. tradition with sieges. Let's bring my cavalry to bear. Okay, you all now do round shot against the bodyguard. Here's the tricky bit. It's two solid units of line infantry. Let's get my cavalry in the gap. Gather on the walls, and then I want to get them to form up here and start firing onto the mortars. It's going to be artillery to work on this section as well. Run my cavalry through actually and smash straight into their artillery anyway. Do not want to get caught up in the caught up in the breach with the mortars firing down. formations? Certainly not. But let's halt fire for sure before you start killing my own cavalry. They're starting to drop. We're flying on the breach. Come on, men, climb the walls.
the last few of my grenadiers on the walls. Doesn't matter if they're wavering the slaughter the gunners. Thankfully these militia guys are firing at their into their own general. Gonna... This is why it's handy to have multiple breaches because that way I could spread the defenders out. Well, they will repulse me in this section. Use charge down the wall to help them out. These guys are enough to handle our citizenry. Start to make these guys do something useful. The grenadiers have chewed these light infantry up. Forty-six men of a seventeen versus nearly a hundred, but they have one hundred and thirteen ready to defend them, ready to support them. And they're now trapped. Go for the guns and go for the general. They're both good targets. Fair enough, these guys are routing, they got pushed back to 38 men. But sometimes it's just really screwed up ways that the game decides to make. Does it tries to decide how to do it, go about its pathfinding? So who? How many are you? Seventy-nine. How many are you? Okay, you you flee. You may as well flee. Breach because we pull them all out to be honest. See, that's what Rory doesn't like. Let's keep one in there. Much prettier. To be honest, if I try to do this, maybe they will run out behind me and try, and I can gun them down. So you kill the last gunner. Oh, no one 
point is what to do about him. Get ready to fire onto these militia when they get within range. Um, citizenry. into the city is now made easier. Let's hold you back. Everyone line up onto this on citizenry. Oh, pity. Final salvo. The yeah, just goes to show I've forgotten that if I shouldn't, I should really make a couple of breaches to help spread them. Sieges have been going okay recently, and I figured, ah, maybe something's different. But no, it's all the same. My strategy is just different. But yes, we have captured oh, Valletta, and it is ours. So let's get this army replenished, and then you will be ready to go east. I'm not at war. I am, I am. I am at war with Persia. But I have armies on the way. Yes, sir. If you're on the way, as are you, or you will be, as will you. Okay, cool. Knights of St. John have been destroyed. Let's hop over back to the Americas for a moment. Claire on them. Ooh, hold on. So they're allied with the Huron, so I want to be ready to move on both. So I want to be ready on the border as soon as I declare on the Plains Nations people. Pueblo Nations? Pueblo Nations. Pueblo Nations! Good. Cool. And yes, from Basra, I'm going to want to start sending ships over here. I'm just going to hold here just to make them think twice about trying to move this fleet. Not really inclined to engage them at the minute. Because they could well just sell them up here, land them in Basra and move them up the coast. Take one last end turn to get another brace of armies in position and then We'll declare on Russia. Seeing, but unseen. Because that 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 turn, there's going to be a significant amount of sieges. We're going to hit so many Russian cities. We'll Radio no works on strike in Sardinia. Increasing the food supply. Yeah, populations population growth in Sardinia is is in Tunis is low. Have some minute men to cheer you up. Okay, so let's keep going on with the upgrades. Sorry, I accidentally clicked on my second monitor. And what about cloth mill? Steam powered cloth mill. Good. Okie dokie, so when I declare on Russia I, when I declare on Russia I'm probably not going to want to declare on Sweden as well at least once I take Copenhagen I obviously will 
it's Christianity ready to be attacked and these will sprint up to hit Sweden itself but so there's a stack here which I want to watch with ready Colin for. Eden uh, okay, well I think generally Make ready. you're still ready to on the march The only risk is down here. Sir. Ordered. Yes. Hmm. So what I'm cute. Eh, I don't know. I think I'm just being overcautious about this arm, this stack. If they're going to try and wander down along this, along here, and towards Ankara. So I might just recruit. Some decent artillery. Or to be honest, I can shift some of these guys over from Istanbul because they're not going to be able to hit me on the coast. But diplomacy, Russia, cancel trade agreement. Then diplomacy, open negotiations, declare war. Holy moly. Okie dokie, let's plan our moves well. Ready and so I'm not going to be able to. Man, forward, sir. So I'm not going to hit Copenhagen on turn one, sadly. Immediately. Anything more? Yes, sir. Can I take a missionary? Any further orders? What? Victory will be ours. <laughs> Fact we just interfere with them. They're going to be ready to cross the border. So the first guy will lay siege to Poland. This guy, will he be able to go? Oh no, don't go that way. Okay, you should go that way. You hit Vilnius. You go by burning the farmland, burning the school, and then be ready to respond. You Down the call to battle. hit Kiev sir. with the reinforcements. Sorry, sir. Anything more? You Chersak Chersk. Sir, your orders. You move up and hit Yerevan. Hmm. Maintain siege there. Hit Tbilisi? You can hit Tbilisi. And you recruit a bunch of lines. I don't know if they're going to send an army straight up here. Um, then let's take. It's garrison force. You can advance on Persia. You can take over on garrison duty. You can hold here. You chase after them. You chase after them. So you, Sophia. Then I probably want you. Siege them. Tier Warsaw with reinforcements. And forward. I think that's it. So we've not managed to get Copenhagen, but we've got Yelvaga and Courland, Vilnius, Warsaw. Ah, you've not moved. You can move up and hit Minsk. You can may as well walk on to try and get Riga. Ready. Your 
humble servant. One of you raid the Steam Factory, ready one of you raid the service. Pleasure Gardens, and then we'll be ready to, to be honest, conduct a series of siege assaults. In some cases it may be more of a more of a defence, like here. I would like them to probably try and attack me. But for some of them, such as Warsaw, I would very much like to kill them, because that draws in... Does that draw in this guy? And uh, former Brilev. It does call him in. Cool, that's pretty neat. Let's get you inside Königsberg, just in case they think of anything sneaky to do. Cool, where's my navy? I'm not currently at war with Sweden. Okay, I definitely want to promote someone else to an admiral. Let's bring you right up here. So that's a small navy. I can't blockade them because it's a Swedish port. Set up and blockade. Oh no, don't actually. Raid here, then hop in here for quick well, repairs. God, that's a whole. It's a whole lot of cities under siege. So next, the, the next part is going to be pretty goddamn special. Um, but I think let's probably end this part with one of the more minor assaults. Such as Philip Watson against Tbilisi. Let's fight this. Because there's not enough points. Up because by my counts it's part 100. Um, I'll probably do an hour long special. So I'll end up capturing lots and lots and lots of part of, um, Polish territory. I think. I could have done Sofia. Either way, this is the Caucasus edition at the minute. Or the Caucasus ish region, this part of Russia. Anyway, was that move? Hmm. So I'm not going to want to. And well, I'm going to want to abuse my quicklime because my troops are not as good. Climb and quick climb. So how good are African guards to regular line? They're just not as good. So I'll probably want to have my native troops fighting over breaches so these guys can cover this breach. These guys can cover this breach. Cavalry can wait, and then over on this flank, where I can hide my well, not hide my troops, but I can deploy them further back. These guys are going to catch a rear area, I hope. And my general's bodyguard stay here in the defilade. These guys fire at will. Except to the armed citizenry, that's that's a bit pointless. Then waters are currently nice and idle, exactly how I like it. Good. 
because yeah, got lots of basic troops. Not much in the way of actual solid assault infantry, so I'm not going to want to be too guns blazing when it comes to charging people in breaches. Heavy howitzers. Let's get one of you to hit that you know, line infantry. Oh, I might have been a bit late. Nope. Perfect. Cut them in half. With one boy. Look at that. Jesus. It's a lot of dead Russians and they fall in square. Okay, not bothered by armed citizenry, garrison guards. They got like <laughs> They got chopper reed mustaches in the beard. Horsemen. Oh, these are the. Oh. Vibonje Strelski. Strelsi. So we are doing damage to this unit while they're on the. Oh, there you go, the howitzers again. Good, more damage, more fun. So I speed up time a little bit. Because right now I'm not doing anything except for blowing hole in the blowing holes in the walls. There's not too much to miss. The happy thoughts are that if they keep doing what they're doing, then uh, might actually be able to destroy a lot of them on the walls. Garrison guards it as well. More quick climb. seem to be going okay. Oh, one more cannonball. One more. More quicklime. Quicklime must have got it. Okay, so then you probably focus on this, because it can, it can create more entrance points for my troops. Okay, so one of Actually, you keep firing here. You keep start firing on this flank. I'm going to keep blasting um, shrapnel shot into the breach. Probably good idea. Now I think it's time for the assault. So right. So your job. To go here and block it up. Your job is to assault this wall. Your job to assault this one. Your job to assault this one. And your job to go here and block them up. Both my house units doing round shot. Try to pummel their guns. Cue to hold fire for now. I'm intrigued to see what damage my houses can do against theirs. 
against their mortars. They've knocked someone over. Okay. Let's instead make you do quick climb and keep firing on the breaches to help clear some gaps. Jubbly. Open square. Shots into them. Let's move up my line. doing just grand, everyone's getting up the walls. Perfect. Of the walls. Okay, let's get my NATO infantry rapid firing as fast as you can. Oh, they're right there. Yeah, the Russian infantry would be better than my. Infantry, but I've just got so darn many of them. Damn, Facebook. Performance goes into square because they're doing really good. I'll take my go to all of that to do it anyway. John got firewall turned off. Let's pull you back. Let's get you out of the way. Straight into the infantry. They're all up. You not quite, you not quite, because you're all for some reason climbing up the same way the wall. The same ladders, sorry. Oh, 
Where's my guards? Oh, there comes the quick line. Let's hold fire with my artillery. Three infantry in there, so they should be able to be finished off. Charge straight to them, the general's dead. Perfect, need a few more of these. Like I said, this one was a fairly simple one. Fairly simple one to end the episode. citizenry up on the wall. So they will get some cover. <sighs> victory. Good victory. First capture of a lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Few more of those and we'll be going places so let's repair let's replenish because i want these guys to be a bit of a breakwater and hopefully attract some of the attention of some of these other stacks like this guy could if he feel fancy to run onto azerbaijan which might actually be a bit of a problem well temporary problem because i've got lots and lots of troops on the way um, but everyone is let's take this navy Okay, the port. She's agreed you to a church school to start trying to get some Protestant missionaries. But yes, the next fight will be starting to deal with this these Polish and Ukrainian fronts. So first on the docket will be Siege of Courland. However, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for a mighty battle indeed.